so male or female son or daughter because i haven't even clarified y'all reading so this is why we going into part two <coughs> spirit tell me why judgment is here for my divine feminines and what do we need to know male or female separation so your divine counterpart could be in sadness as well missing you thinking about you as well yearning but unsure about the future they're dealing with a snake just like you were dealing with a snake this was the judgment this was the karma that came in and caused the separation because y'all needed to heal the old karma the karmic ties between the two of you tell me about the chariot spirit for my divine feminines yeah your person is tired of looking they coming could be a fire a water sign they may have fire in their chart there it is. They got a lot of passion, so they could have fire and water. Cancer with some type of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in their chart. And they have an insane amount of chemistry with you. They like, you like each other equally and you have fun together. They may have had fun like this with the person that they were with, their karmic partner. Tell me about the Princess of Wands. Some of them may have dealt with a person younger than you. And they could have gave this person unconditional love. But this was their ultimate demise. This was their bane. Because your person was a narcissist. Some of you have healed your narcissistic behaviors and traits. I know you don't want to hear it, but I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Some of you were narcissistic, narcissists too. And this came from, look at this shit here. Your person is going to try to come in and seduce you. They see you as ultimate wish fulfillment. I can't make this shit up. And your person may have in the past seduced you, pushed you in a third party. This person was easily distracted. Now they have crashed and burned like a lot of you did. And they're rising like the phoenix. Tell me about the empress spirit. Why is the empress here for the divine femmes? Male or female? Engagement ring. So they may want to give you an engagement. They see you as a soulmate or they could have given this other empress engagement ring. But there's something here that's heartbreaking. Somebody is heartbroken, deeply saddened. Great. There's a breakup, feeling lost, and they're grieving. And this is either you or the person that they broke up with. Divine Femmes, I'm going to be honest. I don't know what's the percentage of you. But there is a percentage of you that this is actually you where you were in engagement or about to be engaged and this person broke up with you or this is the person that they were dealing with that they are broken up and they're heartbroken behind but they still are watching you or this person or both reminiscing keepsake perception learning from the past and they made memories with this person so this could be past Tell me about the devil here for my divine femmes. Look at this shit here. Sexual addictions. Lust. Addiction. Sexual addiction. Somebody could have also been addicted to, I'm hearing um, pills. And I'm also hearing that cocaine. I like you. But they like you. Someone likes you here, divine femmes. And the romance is blooming. Male or female. They want to flirt with you. They want to date. And they eyeballing something that was hella toxic in their life. They got like laser focus on this. Yeah, they saw, they're looking at the unconditional love that they gave to somebody else that they didn't have for themselves and they didn't give you. Whereas you gave it to them. Now they want to come in and talk about it. Interested in conversing more. They're awaiting messages. Some of y'all are waiting for a message, a text message text message email phone call you're hoovering stop it tell me about the two of swords for the divine femme collective collective male or female yeah somebody it has a choice here they know that they like you they more than like you they actually love you but they know they have to end something this is what the choice is about and they're unsure about coming forward towards you because of the fact of what they've already established with this person that they may have offered engagement to. Tell me about the Seven of Cups here for my Divine Femmes. Yeah, some of them, they are absolutely miserable. And you bring them, you make them feel uplifted, lighthearted. 
and you make them feel like they actually have a friend and they want friendship. They're, a, they're rising from the ashes of their own demise. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Same way you did, Divine Femmes. Mirroring. This person is getting some type of mirroring effect <clears throat> from their person. And it is to help them heal their wounds. Just like your person mirrored what you didn't like about them and you didn't like about yourself. They are reflecting on those, in those wounds. They're gaining introspection about those wounds. And they're evolving. This relationship is evolving into the next phase. It's healing the inner childhood for growth, for expansion. Tell me about Archangel Michael. Like I said, expansion, ascending. They're healing. They're rebalancing themselves. They're becoming restored. And they can bring you happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. And this is the process that you're going through as well, Divine Feminine. A lot of you have done majority of this healing work. Tell me about the King of Swords. Yes. Somebody is chasing that bag. Because you are manifesting exactly what you want. You're being very logical, very strategic. Your person could have been very logical, very strategic as well. And this is what brought them in that abundance. But it also brought them heartbreak. Now they have to be lighthearted about finding it out. Because things are coming to light. They're needing to adapt, change, and heal. Tell me about judgment and separation for my divine feminine spirit, male or female. Thank you. Yeah, endings, new beginnings. What a water sign. Someone from your past life possibly doesn't have to be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Tell me about the chariot and sunglasses. This person is becoming untrapped. Some of you, they're getting out of prison out of jail fighting conflict they getting away from all the chaos and drama tell me about the princess of wands and kisses from my divine films becoming single somebody has unconditional love for you and they coming in stable healthy whole and abundant as whole as they can be they gain gaining courage and strength capricorn taurus virgo leo tell me about the star Seduction in the Twin Flames for the Divine, divine Femmes. They're getting out of a situation that doesn't work for them. That they may have held on to for finances. Could have been with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius strongly. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Tell me about heartbreak, engagement. They're coming out of self-sabotaging relationships. And healing this. They're putting an end to some type of jealousy. Some type of sabotage. Tell me about the devil and addiction. Heartbreaking. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Strongly. Somebody feels abandoned in this. Left out in the cold. Maybe somebody was asked to leave. Move. Get out. Tell me about unconditional love in the Hierophant. Yeah, somebody's taking some level of action. To make some changes here. Aries Scorpionic, Aries Scorpio, Aries Leo Sagittarius, my bad. Somebody is taking some level of action where there could have been a third party work or some type of open marriage or open relationship. Tell me about the Two of Swords and I like you for the Divine Femme Collective. Yeah, this person could still be um, imbalanced, back and forth, indecisive. But there's happiness that they come towards once they get the revelation. Leo Energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Tell me about the coffee and the Seven of Cups. Yes, somebody is waiting for this conversation, this communication. But somebody has to get out of heartbreak and misery from a marriage, a commitment, something that they were in that was long term. Tell me about the mirror and the Four of Pentacles for the Divine Femme Collect. Somebody is no longer fighting, resisting change. And it could be this water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Tell me about ascending and temperance. Divine timing for ascension. It's what? Ooh. Yeah, there could have been a lot of secrets here or fears of going into the unknown and needing to communicate or take action. So they were talking back and forth with spirit using their intuition or keeping secrets about another love relationship which needed to be balanced and healed. 
tell me about no using their intuition to come toward a love and ten of cups that brings in healing and balance temperance they're rushing tell me about the king of swords in abundance Ooh, i like to miss that one somebody is not happy wherever the hell they at and it's with a king of wands aries leo sagittarius it's a one-sided situation that's that golden mirror narcissistic and this is a part of their fate their destiny this is karma for holding on to a situation that no longer served a purpose in their life their highest good 80 20 dynamic they got a new beginning coming too yeah and they want wish fulfillment in the past they might have been selfish overindulgent needing to use their intuition about love and relationships needing to temper balance and heal their actions behavior with third parties multiple options this queen of wands and feeling left out abandoned very little to offer arguing and fighting getting the truth about who this soulmate is a hoe in a family dynamic that caused burdens feeling rejected not knowing what the fuck to do letting god give you enlightenment so you can go through your damn karma for the third party situation and gain courage and strength where love is concerned to gain introspection work on loving yourself and bringing this offer into this goddamn empress where you might want to get a baby with you got stability stop fearing the ending in a marriage divine masculine manifest you did this to yourself now take the leap of faith for being foolish and be divinely guided towards your love that you're suppressing your emotions to go forward with this is your karma for hurting somebody and your damn self with this queen of pentacles about money where you had a choice made and you betrayed your twin out of pride and ego and then they had to walk away and end this in order for their ships to come in transformation to you to move forward i also just caught somebody died in a car accident god rest their soul that was a part of their journey too where somebody had to end something between choices and money deception truth and clarity about love being obsessed with toxic behavior patterns spying on a soulmate that they want to have a new beginning with which is faded and destined but holding back because they're unbalanced yeah y'all need to get your shit together divide masculines tighten up tighten up all right let's get on with it <clears throat> spirit what messages do you have for my ascended from the ascended masters for my divine fam detach from drama that's the message they need to give to your people <laughs> so they can get on with it and stop holding on to shit that no longer serve open your heart to love y'all need to get some uh rose quartz so you can focus on your manifestations because finances seem to be a problem here fam collective messages for love for the divine fam collective please spirit a lot of y'all don't feel like it's safe to love anymore because of the amounts of time you've been hurt y'all dealt with childish ass people in the past and some of y'all have not forgive this person so in order to forgive this person healing family issues you got to forgive your parents and yourselves first all right let's get some messages here from the soul journeys oracle adversity i accept that challenges are the best way to learn what messages spirit do you have for my divine film collective <clears throat> Ooh, ooh, family okay patience divine timing is here i accept that everything happens in divine order i can't make this shit up freedom i possess the power and the free will to to create my own happiness and regret then that's we talk about regret i know that i cannot change the past <clears throat> gratitude there we go we talked about this too gratitude i am thankful for this life and the opportunity that it presents that was your opening statement any more messages 
growth. Beautiful. I want to expand my consciousness and awareness. Yes, you do. This is what this journey is about, to expand and grow. Let's go. Gratitude. Beautiful. Beautiful. I just want you to know you're my favorite girl a guy. Mm -hmm. Imagination and love. <clears throat> I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind. Some of y'all are very creative and you're sitting on your own money. You need to tighten up. Tighten up. The spiritual law of attraction is waiting for you. Didn't I tell y'all? Some of y'all are very artistic and creative. If this isn't you, this is your divine counterpart. And I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Beautiful family. Happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path and peace. I love this color. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Yes. I don't know who you are, but you got to go. Guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist me in my soul's growth. Ain't that the truth? Let's get with it. Because in the near future, something is going to be a yes. So what messages, Spirit, do you have from the Oracle Angels deck? Compromise. Okay, that sounds like a truth. Compromise. So y'all need to compromise in order to get these big happy changes. That means you need to balance. Work it out. And this surrounds money. So money seems to get everybody's attention. So there it is. But whatever some of y'all chasing is unlikely. The situation will improve. And this is regarding around finances again. Spirit is telling you to look for a sign and reconsider because it's affecting your finances and you are ready. You're ready for the abundance that's coming your way and your health is improving. That's a part of your abundance, family. You see this money around here? This also represents you. Any more messages, Spirit? Yes. Gone and flip. No need to worry. Spirit got this. And all y'all got to do is work on practicing forgiveness. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. I love that. Let's see if we can get some more messages from the Lover's Oracle. Messages from the Lover's Oracle, Spirit. My beloved. I'm going to read it. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually, or we're always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. All right, now. I did see a sneak peek of your twin. Any more messages, Spirit, from this deck? Last go around. Any more messages? Only time will tell. So, like I said, stop holding on to the outcome. Stop. Y'all need to detach. New beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Spirit is asking y'all to, re to release because you're holding on. You have to release this and let spirit do the work, okay? Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. That's the message. Let me see what's behind in the back. Balance. Beautiful. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that supports so both supports and challenges. So there was the balance when we saw compromise. Beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. I appreciate that. Let's get some from the Archangels. Got to have my babies up in here because they keep me on my path. Patience again. <laughs> Patience again. And compassion. Spirit's on y'all asses. They want y'all to understand something. Archangel Jophiel, your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. Com compassion. Archangel Zachiel, soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved, including yourself. That's the forgiveness. Balance and forget. Woo, that's powerful. Breathe. Archangel Raphael, take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and release old patterns. It is time for y'all to wake the fuck up spiritually. Children, 
Archangel Gabriel, as you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. And that came with the Kipper reading. Y'all have overcome most of the painfulest difficulties. Archangel Jeremiah, the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. Yes, and all is well. Teaching and learning, family. Y'all going to learn today and y'all going to teach somebody tomorrow. All right, let's see what messages we can get from these crystals and see what crystals my divine femmes could use at this particular time. Hold on, step. That's too many. That's the one. Dos. Dry, foam, fear, zix, oven. So, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Hmm. Ein, zwei, dry, foam, fear, ox, sieben. Smoky quartz is one. Beautiful. Screenshot it if you like. This is your homework, family. Look it up. Jasper. Beautiful. Screenshot it. Opal. I love this. Opal. And you're going to look up what they mean if you want to get these stones. Blue calcite. These are to help you. And black tourmaline. Protection. We already know that. Some of you already may have some of these, have some of these stones. So... Is there anything else that I can give my collective at this present time? Family, y'all are to stay poised throughout this whole situation. No matter what comes around, don't let it knock you off your crown. Knock your crown off or take you off your throne, male or female. 48 becomes 12, 12 and 3. There's an imbalance here. So you could run right back into a situation where there's a third party. So remain poised family and flexible because you're going to do something 19 becomes two and you're going to be flexible be open to a new beginning legs up a leg up so somebody may help you spiritually and time is running out for this third party situation I ain't even finna look into the book. I'm just gonna interpret intuitively myself. New life, there it is. But somebody gotta get rid of the third party in order for you to have it. Some of y'all could be seeing three, three, three. There it is, three, a change in the wind. So this person is gonna get blown out. Breathe, didn't they tell you to breathe? Breathe in fresh air. Exhale old toxic patterns. Breathe. 29 becomes 11. That's part of your journey. Miss Divine Feminine. Yin. Male or female. Two. About you and your person. Yeah, this what brought you in. This what brought your person in. Everybody was wearing a damn mask, except for God. 16 became 70, put you on your spiritual path. No matter how much you dislike this person, and my nose is over here on fire. So I know spirit telling me I'm on fire with what I'm telling you. No matter how badly this person hurt you, collective, they did you a favor. They did something for you that you would have never ever done for yourself and gotten to this point in your life they open your eyes to everything and this was meant to be because spirit needed you to wake up to your divine truth of who you really are who you really are
and you had a choice to make just like your person got it's a fork in the road but this fork they may have taken the wrong turn and it brought them heartbreak brought them adversity same as you but they get back on the right track it brings them divinity stability divine union beautiful there's the union treasure island they just got to get to it you are the treasure and they do want to regenerate some of them definitely do want a new beginning with you 46 becomes 10 2 is a new beginning beautiful some of y'all could be regenerating your health and your finances divine fam yeah hell of a thinker you think a lot 44 didn't i tell y'all and look at here Forty-four. You're on the right path. Some of y'all are definitely spiritual. You might need to go to the sea, to the ocean, some water. Take your nice spiritual bath and converse with spirit, nature. Commune with spirit. Don't ask why. Just do it. <laughs> Just do it. Some of y'all came to the edge in this relationship, but you had to end with it. And this edge was chaos and conflict, and it created hellified imbalances in our lives. And it seems like it's a never-ending story, but this story is never-ending. This story is absolutely never-ending, but the journey that you're on, it is going to constantly teach you something about yourself about your person and about what you overall need to learn in this lifetime is there anything else that i can share with my collective spirit give me one outcome card from the after tarot what is the energy of the divine feminine headed forward look who coming <laughs> your divine masculine in union and that beautiful look at the snake leaving i had to ask i had to ask what else yeah they had to go within and make a choice your person's coming back at powerhouse when they do come back Where in the past, they rejected God's gift, and that was you. Could have been dealing with a water sign, an earth sign, fire sign, air sign. All signs are here. This person may have all of this in their chart, too, for some of you. They're going to come back in and give you truth, because I just saw the Ace of Swords. This person was foolish. <laughs> this person was an absolute idiot. <laughs> make this shit up your divine masculine no he was an absolute fucking fool man or female <laughs> i'm sorry and then he was selfish as hell his spirit came in and took what the hell they needed to get their attention just like some of us some of us had to go through the same process what goes around comes around do y'all understand me your divine masculine over here is losing money because the Grim Reaper is taking it. Do you understand me for being fucking selfish, drinking out of their own goddamn cup? I can't make this shit up. Look at this. It's selfish. They losing everything for being fucking selfish and having addictions and not changing their ways. Being very controlling, very stubborn, very determined. And very fucking foolish. Jesus. This my I ain't listening to nothing nobody down says. It's my way or the highway. <laughs> Y'all gonna do what I tell you to. <laughs> and you both are scared to have this new beginning. Both of you are undecided. Because there was so much that was unknown. So many secrets. 
And this is what brought the tower in. Somebody was also using black magic. They still are. To keep you stuck here, Divine Femmes. Don't, don't go for this shit. Stay focused. Stay prayed up. Do whatever it is that you do to protect your finances. Because you are the Empress. You are the Empress. Some of y'all are pregnant with ideas. Pregnant with babies. Some of you also lost a child. My condolences. That child is coming back. Y'all have strength and courage. Because y'all got the Ten of Pentacles coming towards you. Somebody is willing to put the work in this go around. And they're going to take a lot of passionate action. They're pouring out the cup of the person that hurt them and disappointed them in love. But they still need to see something clearly. They may even end up fighting over you, Divine Feminine. Let me get that together. Yeah, because they want to reconcile. <laughs> they know they put you in an imbalanced situation. And they got missed opportunities here. The hell? Some of you are definitely Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, very spiritual. And you ain't playing no motherfucking games. You're not with this, I'm an option. The fuck you talking about? Yeah, you go fight your demon someplace else. Don't bring that shit to me. And y'all gonna walk away. And that's gonna be your justice. And that's gonna be their damn karma. Because you're gonna end something. You're not gonna put up with what you put up with in the past. Divine feminines, male or female. You, spirit came and freed your ass. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. When you were selfish, overindulgent. Wanting everything your damn way. So did your divine counterpart. You met your damn match. Now you both got to heal. We all had to heal. And you had to heal our finances. Some of us are still doing so. You laid this shit to rest. So you can have love and happiness. Your person is laying something to rest. That they invested themselves in. And all they got was. Fuckery. They're going through a transformation as well. Spirit is helping them just like spirit helped you. They got to slay their demons. 